Hello, Neverland. What's going on? Ty again. Tyler, Ty, the bad guy. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Scary. I know. <laughs> anyway, um, just got back from uh, seeing my family. You know, I have some time here. I figured I would finally do my vlog roulette video. The one I promised. And I stick true to my word. Might be a little bit late, and I'm sorry, but here it is. What I'm going to do... I have three words that you guys have given me, you know, and uh, I'm going to take my hat that I already crumbled them up and threw them in there, and I'm going to shake it up like this, and we're going to talk about what I pull out of the hat. That's the way this is going to work. I don't know if I'm going to be doing more of these, but we'll see. We're going to call this number one for now, just in case. How's that sound? Yeah? I'm going to try to keep this one PG, because that last video I did was, whoo, F-bombs and everything. So, here we go. I'm, I'm shaking it up. Shaking it up. There's three words. I'm not going to tell you what they are until they pop up, but I'll show it to you. Hold on. I don't know if you can hear that, but shaking them up, shaking them up, shaking them up. See? Shaking them up. Here we go. You ready? Now, I promise the first thing I pull out, I talk about, right? Anything I pull out. On the fly, that's the way we do things here on my channel. Here we go. Number one. I hope we don't start off heavy, because that, whew. but then again, that's my luck, right? Oh, this is one I added myself. Family. You probably can't see that. It's probably backwards, upside down, all that stuff. Family. There you saw it. Nice. Yeah, let's start off heavy, shall we? Um, family, to me, now, I can only speak for myself. Actually, this is kind of help, helpful because I just came back from seeing my family, my immediate family. Um, family to me are, and this is by no definition, not even your relatives, but it just could be people that are close to you. Family to me means that you're there for each other, you support each other unconditionally, whether you'd be brother, or sister, mother, father, or anything, best friend, you know, even cousins, you know. It all depends on your closeness to who you are through them. If they make you feel good about you, if they make you feel secure enough for yourself, that to me is family. And uh, I'm a pretty special case, I guess. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and say it. You know, I'm even wearing my eye makeup for it, right? Yeah, pretty. Hmm. Once a rocker, always a rocker. Anyway, family to me is important because... For most of my life, I'll be honest, I have felt very much alone because I put myself there. I put myself in very precarious positions. Positions. You know, um, I've done the rock gig. I've done, you know, odd jobs here and there. I've done some pretty incredible stuff. You know, not because I call it incredible. But it's just, it's to me, it's unnatural. I don't think anybody should have to go through the experiences I have just to learn a lesson. But since I'm such a harsh guy, I always have to learn the hard way, right? Yeah, stupid, right? But, uh, ow, that kind of hurt. But anyway, justified, some call that, you know. All my critics out there that are watching this just went, ah, can you hit yourself harder? No. But anyway, you know, um, family to me is people that you love, people that you hold dear to your, your heart, um, people that obviously make you feel good about yourself, and you, in turn, make them feel good about themselves, I hope, you know. Um, support, you know, and I hate to use the cliche term support group, but that's basically what it means to me. Uh, it's a little bit more in-depth for me because I've been such a loner, you know, for most of my life. Um, but it, it means a lot, and obviously that would be hyped up a little bit more because of the fact that I, I have those values, you know, instilled in me that, you know, it, it's not always good to be alone, you know, you got to be around those that you love. You know, and again, it could be friends, it could be family, it could be people you're related to or not, doesn't matter. To me, that's what it means. It's just a very intense closeness with somebody that, uh, that knows who you are, you know, that loves you unconditionally for whatever you do, whatever mistakes you make, they're always there. And I've been blessed very much to have those people in my life that I can call family, you know, and most of them are just my friends, you know. Um, and I'll go ahead and say it, you know, my family and I, we're not close, close. Not as much as I'd like to be, obviously, naturally. But we're still there, you know, we're still there for each other, you know. Now that I'm older now, I'm over 30, right? Um, it's nice. 
that's, I'll just leave it right there, I think, because you know, I'll just be talking about myself the whole friggin' time. And nobody needs to bore you the way that I bore you, okay? So, this is a positive video, right? So, take two, here we go. No, but seriously though, you know, um, just love the ones you're around because they love you back, you know? It, it is give and take, you know? And uh, something always stuck out in my mind uh, when a good friend of mine, a family member of mine, Always said it's not always 50-50. You should be 100-100. You know, always give it everything you've got. And you'll get it in return. And you'll make yourself feel a lot better for having done it in the first place. So, hopefully you guys are close with people. You don't have to have a whole lot of them. You know, maybe you're blessed that way. I'm not. I have a few close ones. But uh, they're my family. You know, we all look out for each other. We're all there for each other. Anyway, so... There you go. That, that was my word. I added that one in myself because, uh, quite frankly, I only had two words thrown into the hat because nobody gave me a word. So, that's the first one. There's only two left, so it's shaky, shaky, shaky. Shaky, shaky. I'm not going to sing you a song while I'm shaking my own hat. I mean, come on, man. That's asking for too much. Too much. Too much. Watching you never land. You know not what you do remember. All right. Oh, one fell out, so I guess we're going to pick that one. What do we got? Ah, my boys, my boys, ah, they know who they are. Oh, yeah, now this is a good one. Man, I'm, like, I was trying not to go so heavy, but all right. I actually gave this one some pre-thought. So, the word is loyalty. And as you can see at the bottom, it's youtube.com backslash t dot he, t d o t he. That's their channel. And I actually encourage you to check them out. They're really cool people. Danny, Flav, hey. Looking pretty, boys. Looking pretty. Flav, I hope you're feeling better. Seriously, go check out their channel, man. You know, they're really funny. Like, they're really entertaining. Loyalty. All right, Flav. Uh, sorry, I couldn't get around to this until just now, but again, I had a lot of stuff on my plate, obviously. That's okay, man. Um, loyalty to me. It pretty much, you know, and it's kind of funny how I had family first, huh? Because it pretty much ties into that, too, you know. Um, it ties into the whole emotional drawing aspect of it. I'm very high on loyalty. I'm very predominant with that because, to me, there's nothing more important than being there, than uh, offering yourself selflessly to somebody else that needs you. Um, that's the very base of it for me. Loyalty, to me is the world because it could mean the world to somebody else, you know, and I hate to sound cliche there because I don't like cliches, you know. Um, call me rebellious, I guess, I don't know. Uh, loyalty is something I hold very dear because there are people out there, and I'm very, very blessed to have people that are loyal to me. Um, no matter what kind of hard times I go through, and believe me, I go through enough. Um, it's nice to know that you have trustworthy characters there for you and um, people that are there for you that uh, you can rely on at any given time doesn't matter day or night you pick up your phone at three in the morning there they are you know and I'm one of those guys too you know and, and I, I try to be you know I mean I understand you have to be selective with who you're loyal to but even then you know there's always a, a good part of you at least I hope Neverland there's a good part of you left where you can be loyal to somebody you can be honest and trustworthy I think that all goes hand in hand, though, you know, because for me, when I think of the word loyalty, and I'm, I'm thank you for giving me the word there, guys, at T. Heat. Um, more importantly for myself, when I think of loyalty, I think of what I've done for myself, what I've accomplished in my life because of loyalty. Could mean your job, you know. I'm very loyal with what I do for for a living, for work, um, whether it be musically or you know, flipping pizzas at some pizza joint. But I'm very loyal to my management, my bosses that put food on my table because guess what? There's morality tied in with that kind of stuff, you know. It's in the Bible. Look it up. You know, I take that pretty seriously too. And that's also a good thing to, to say about loyalty. You know, spiritually you can be loyal. Um, we're not going to get into a religious rant now. No, no, I don't do that. I'm just a spiritual person. Um, but loyal to your beliefs is uh, very important to me, too, I think, at the very base. Now, I don't know how you guys feel about it, but, I mean, it, to me, I'm just saying, what's, hey, it's my channel, all right? You know what I mean? But, no, I don't mean to sound selfish or nothing, but uh, 
Seriously, though, loyalty to me is, is very important because it also helps you judge your own character and, and how you go about dealing with your day-to-day -day life as yourself, right? I think that, um, actually, let's use a stronger word. I feel that we should all be in touch with our loyalties, our, you know, the things that we believe in. I think we, we've we become such a society now that we've lost touch with that. We've lost touch with FaceTime. And you know, now we're on our cell phones, you know, whatever. I don't own a cell phone. I'm proud of it because I wouldn't do very well as a zombie. You know what I mean? Like it just doesn't. I'm not the sheeple. I'm just me. You know, and that's loyal to my belief, right? I think it proves itself, though. I mean, when you really look, you know, take okay, take two. See, I don't edit. I just bleh, barely speak English. But anyway, um, you know, loyalty to me is I think you can learn a lot from yourself by just taking 30 seconds out of your busy schedule whatever you're doing just drop it when you lay down in bed at night you probably won't get any sleep because then you, that means your head's spinning sorry for that but uh, loyalty is important to judge yourself before <laughs> and I try not to do this myself we're all guilty of it before you judge other people because in order to look at their mistakes, you have had to have made some yourself. You know, um, a very wise friend of mine, a family member of mine, uh, once said, "You got to be careful who you're screwing on the way up because you got to meet them on the way back down." You know, and I think that that's uh, I think that's very valid because you know just to the personal experiences that you see outside of yourself, and so loyalty definitely comes into play there. You know, um, yourself first because it is okay to take care of yourself. As long as you're doing it in a healthy, you know, selfless way, um, to be loyal is to be there for somebody. So if number one isn't good, then number two or et cetera, et cetera, it won't be that great either. You know, you got to be careful of that. Um, I think we all need some fine tuning there, in, in my opinion, because of the environment that I put up with. You know, and I do mean put up with, and I'm, I'm guilty. I'm a character too, like I said. And uh, yeah, I might have a tiny ego, you know, but I, I use it in a goofy manner now. I don't, I'm, I'm not half the man I used to be, right? And I wasn't really much of a man. So by me saying that to you, I guess that means that, you know, I, I have my loyalty in check, you know. Um, took a while to get there, but I'm glad I did. So that's what loyalty is to me um, as a whole. I, I would think um, the very base importance of it would be right there. It's just about being positive, being there for somebody, and also being trustworthy enough for somebody else to lean on you. I think, um, again, it's a lost art. It's a very lost art. Um, we need to come back together and figure a few things out that way, uh, in my opinion. But anyway, so there you go, boys at T. Heat, Flavio and Danny, love ya. You know it. You know it, baby. Yeah. Don't you look at me like that. Listen. Hey. That's right. So, third, last but not least, this one comes from another family member of mine, a friend of mine who I hold very dear to my heart. And uh, I'm going to leave her nameless just because of the word. Um, I told you guys, you throw anything at me, I will talk about it. The word is, you can see it, addiction. Ah, that's a good one. Um... The person that sent this to me, I'm going to send this directly to her. I'm going to try to uh, give you the importance of how I feel about this. Addiction. Ooh. You know, we all had their struggles with it. You know, we've all, no matter what your vice is, you know, whether it be, and I, I'm very thankful I never got involved in the drug scene. I've been around it a lot. I've seen people overdose and die. Uh, <laughs> And I'm not laughing because it's funny. I'm laughing because it makes me feel funny. You know, it's kind of funny, strange, not haha. You know what I mean? Addiction is something that it's a weakness. It's it's a to me it's a weakness. I don't mean to offend anybody. I'm just I'm giving you my two cents on it. I mean that's what this is all about, right? So um, addiction to me is very serious because addiction. The very first word I can think of to, if we're doing this Warshak painting thing, what do you see? Well, what do you see? Addiction to me means control. Um, a certain substance having control over your better judgment. Um, I'm a smoker. 
I have been since I was 13 years old, unfortunately. Um, so I do draw from personal experience that way. The whole drug use, alcohol I can also draw from too because yes, I was addicted to alcohol. A couple of points in my life, absolutely, you know. And I still drink, sure, you know, I mean, I just have a couple here and there. But uh, that control factor. Now, the person that gave me this word, God bless her, uh, she struggled herself. And, you know, I've seen her both on it and off it. She's one of the most beautiful people to me. I mean, she, inside and out, I mean, she's just, she's a very fun-loving character. And um, she's very dear to my heart. Um, she's one example that I remember seeing, you know, people struggle through addiction. And, um, and there have been many others. Uh, the only thing I can think of when I try to go after addiction is just willpower. You know, it's control over willpower. It's subsiding yourself and giving in to, you know, a habit. Um, for me, it's smoking. And, you know, for some of you out there, it's smoking too, I know. Um, you'll never see me have an e-cigarette in my hand, by the way. Um, speaking of which, because I just don't believe in them, man, you know. Um, but that's, again, that's personal preference. But yes, I am addicted to smoking. I have had some trouble with, um, this is turning into a testimony, isn't it? Sorry. Blah. Boring. But uh, and seriously, though, I've had an addiction to alcohol on a couple occasions where it takes you over. It controls you. Um, where you, you spend your hard-earned money no matter what you're doing or even if it's off of welfare or you're getting it from any other, you know, and that's, that's the thing. Because if it takes control of you, you have to take control of the situation and get more of that substance. So you're willing to do anything to have it. To me, that's very scary. You know, uh, the fact that I smoke and I'm such a strong character. You know, uh, strong in my beliefs. That is, because I don't think I'm anything special, man. I really don't. Like, I don't have a fat head. You know, but it's just the hair. <laughs> Come on, eyeliner. I'm pretty. Come on. You know, but deep down inside, I'm not a humble character. You know, I really am. You know. Very proud of myself for that. Um, but addiction to me is very scary because it is a substance and what, it doesn't matter what it is. If you're addicted to something, you are. You know, and you see these crazy shows on TV. I don't have cable, thank God, but uh, I've seen videos of like people eating couch seats and like, you know what I mean? Like the odd, I don't remember what the show's called, don't care, don't want to know. But you know, they're addicted to drinking soap or eating Q-tips and it's, thank God, clean ones. Um, it's, it's just a, a substance that has control over your body, you know? But, see, the thing is, for me, with addiction, you have had to have wanted to do that first in order to become addicted. See, it's, it's a cyclical thing. I mean, it's a negative, very negative cyclical thing because you're giving yourself over to that said thing or things. We all have our vices. We all have, you know... To me, it's a, it, it's a weakness, absolutely. I will admit it. I mean, the fact that I smoke, it's a weakness. You know, the fact that I used to drink beyond blackout, you, that kind of thing, it's a weakness. You, you use these things for a crutch. It's like a stress relief. But that's just a placebo effect in your mind that you put there because you're addicted to it. It's, it's a very scary thing to be controlled by something, I'll tell you. You know, um... Uh, but this person means that much to me that, you know, I will bring this up. And, uh, you know, we all go through our struggles. Um, it's just good to see people come out of that. You know, it's good to see people wean themselves off, you know, painkillers, smoking, cocaine, you know, marijuana is addictive, you know. Um, <laughs> I, you know, it's just good to see people come out of that and shake their head and go, wow, you know, I actually, I can value myself now. I can have some self-worth again. You know, I think that's that's strength. That's a strong character that can do that, you know. And that counteracts, obviously, the effect of being weak and needing something as a crutch. So I think that's really cool, the human spirit, to do that, to jump back out of it and say, hey, you know, I just became clean, say, two weeks ago. And to have your mind focused on, you know, just getting that done and just keep going forward, you know. And I always said, let that Japanese bullet train catch your sleeve and off you go, you know. That's that's awesome. I mean, that's that's mental power at, at its finest, right there. You know, to me, that says a lot. You know, and I'm very proud of the people that have done it. You know, and me tapering off and smoking as I'm trying to do. You know, even though I buy it by the carton, but I'm trying to taper off a little bit. That takes strength for me too. You know, we all have our weaknesses. We all have, 
you know, and I don't want to use weakness as a term for the whole thing because that's just the way I perceive it. But, you know, because that would sound insulting, wouldn't it? I don't mean to. But um, it's just, it's, it's nice to see, you know, the strength in your character that you can, you know, back yourself away from that. I think that that says, and it should say a lot to yourself, too. You know, I think you should be proud of yourself for doing that because it is, it's, it's heartwarming to me. You know, and uh, that's all I got to say about that. So, yeah, those are the three words that I had today. And um, I'm sorry this video, you know, took me so long. I wanted to do it last week there, but uh, you know, I'm just glad everything's going okay, sort of. You know, like I'm just kind of trucking on, man. Mother trucker, yeah. Uh huh. No, it worked for me. Okay, Come. you guys are a hard audience. You know that? All 30 dudes. You're a really hard audience. You really are. But listen, Neverland, I have to go for now. I have to uh, go take care of some stuff. But uh, just letting you know that Ty thinks of you. You know, we just, uh, I figured that uh, we'd sit back and have a tete-a-tete -tete one more time. Huh? Yeah, in French. Yeah, Canadian. Remember that. Um, but listen, you guys take care of yourselves. Um, Another shout out to my boys at T. Heat on YouTube. Go check out their channel. Do it, do it, do it, do it now if you have a spare minute. But you know what? Even if you don't have a spare minute, click on one of their videos and click on watch later. That little tiny, it looks like a watch. It's like a little clock symbol. You, you, you won't be sorry, man. They're, they're hilarious. Like to me, I'm a goof, right? And I like goofy stuff, but they're real. That's what I like about them. You know, I don't want to put them over too much, but... Uh, they're good guys, you know, they, they've always treated me very respectfully, and, and, and I them. I really think that that's awesome. So, uh, Flav, Danny, I hope that, you know, answered your, uh, not answered your question, but hopefully that gives you what you wanted out of my explanation of that. Um, and again, guys, if you want me to do another uh, vlog roulette out of my hat, leave me a like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. I don't want to become viral or anything, but I mean... Show me some love, just a little bit, you know, and uh, don't worry, I'll send some love back to you, you know. That's what we got to do in these days, kids, you know, we got to take care of each other. We got to be loyal, trustworthy, honest, you know, that's what we got to do. So uh, let's get out there and do it, what do you say, you know, I don't care if that sounds cheesy or not, you know. In order to take care of other people, you got to take care of yourself first, you know, <laughs> cliche, right? All right, guys, hey. Right on. Cheers. Rock on. I will be talking to you soon. I guarantee it. It's going to be sooner than later because I'm sick and tired of letting it be a month, two months, three months in between. I think this is good, both for me and just to get it out there and both for you to bring it back to me because I like to hear, whether it's good or bad, the comments. I like to see what you want to say. So if you want to, you can leave one word down at the bottom of this video right down there. I'll prove it and stuff. I'll take a look at it. And I'll write that down on a piece of paper and I'll put that in a hat. We'll make it a longer video. Sound okay? Alright then. You guys all take care. Peace to you. God bless. And uh, may the wind behind you never be yours. Cheers. Love you. Bye.